Roger, mate, why aren't you hitting? All right, I'm sorry, Mr. Bernardina, but I just expected a lot more from the king. Uh, you are. All right, your highness, just try and do your best, all right? Hi guys, I'm Ozzy Villain, and welcome to episode 18 of the Baseball Journeyman at the Silicone Stalks in the Dutch Honkball Hofte Klaus. Uh, but more importantly, welcome to game four of the fl playoff championship series. We are leading currently two games to one, and there is a big difference between being 3-1 up in a best of seven series or being tied at two. So let's hope we can get the win today and put ourselves one game away from being crowned champions. Uh, we can see here the way that uh, this playoff series has gone so far. Leading the way with the bat for us is Carabello. Martina, the catcher, uh, is having a good series. And then it really drops off a little bit. Coopers and um, De Lima and Urban is batting 250. And after that, including, look at bottom of the pile, Roger Bernardina. I don't understand what's happened to him, but he said he, he will come good for us. So let's hope, let's hope the king uh, does... Uh, does resurge very, very soon. Um, and the, you know, for them, it's, it's Schlupp, it's, it's Birkenbosch, it's uh, Richarlison. Sorry, it's not. It's Richardson. Richarlison plays for Everton. Uh, and then it's, there's not much after that. So, I mean, it's been a series so far dominated by pitching. Uh, and today it's going to be Max Prost. It's the, number, it's the game one lineups again. It's Profs versus Plodger. Uh, and, of course, we did win game one. So, let's hope. Um, let's hope that we do okay here. If you want to have a bit of a longer look at, uh, at all the sort of the ins and outs of the stats of the series so far, give it a quick pause. But right now, let's go and have a look at the teams to go out and play game four. So it looks as though it's essentially the same lineups for both teams. So Nick Urbanus leads us off at second base. Ryan Jackson comes up the order to bat second at shortstop for this one. Bernardina, the king, in center field, bats three. Carabello, the hero of game one, of course, bats four. He's at first base. Delima, the designated hitter, bats five. Ricky Kuipers, he's in left field and bats six. Johnny Bladell drops down the order for this one. He bats seven. Uh, Martina bats eight, the catcher. Quillen DeVint, who's not had a best of series so far, in a slump as well. He's at third base and bats nine. It is Max Profs. Of course, star for us so far this season. He takes the mound for us. He was well, pretty much the star of uh, of the league. A war of 4.2. He led the way in strikeouts, in innings pitched, in games started, wins, everything. He was really, really good for us. So let's hope he has another good day. And pitching for them is, of course, Plodger, or however you say that name. A lefty, of course, which is why we see a few changes in our batting order. Um, and he was solid this season without regular season, anyway, without being spectacular, uh, certainly by sort of the league standard. So let's hope... Oh, this is huge. This is absolutely huge. I've dusted off the old New York Mets jersey for this one, so let's hope it brings us some luck. We are the away team, so we will we will bat first. Urbanus to face Plodger. We're getting straight into it. First pitch, bunt by Urbanus. Is he going to beat it out? No, he's not. And let's hope we never see that bunt again, please, Mr. Barry Larkin. Not, uh, not what we wanted. We're getting also the ins and outs of the game at the top here now. Uh, I'm not sure if the game starting straight like that is a good sign for us or not. It's Ryan Jackson up the order to face the lefty. Full count on him. Come on, Jacko. Jacko up the middle and Ryan Jackson gets us a hit. Excellent stuff. A one-out single for the shortstop. And now it is the king, Roger Bernardina, to try and get himself going. 1-11 for 11 this playoff series. Bernardina, he did no double play. Oh, the king is dead. Roger, Roger, Roger. What is going on with Bernardina? That ends the top of the first. And it's going to be Max Profs to face Dennis DeQuint, who is 2 for 12 so far this postseason. 3 and 0 oh is the count. Come on, Profsy. Don't lose the leadoff man, please. Come on. He does. He walks him. A leadoff walk for the Pirates. It brings up Kelly and Sams, who is 1 for 11, but that one was a home run. One and two is the count, and Prof sits him down. Excellent stuff. One away. Can we induce a double play from Kenny Birkenbosch here? He's four for eleven the postseason. He's having a good, good time of things so far. Three and one's the count. Oh dear, we are two nil down. That's uh, that's not the start we were looking for. One out. One on. And Birkenbosch sends it over the left field fence. And we are 2-0 down in the bottom of the first. Lupstock comes up now. He is 1 for 9. Full count on him. And that is a ground ball to Urbanus. Where was that last time? A double play there would have been nice. But uh, not to be. 
That's two away, and Ricardo comes up now. He's one for 11 this postseason. Come on, Proxy. Pops it up. Should be caught there by any one of three players. It's going to be uh, Jackson, the shortstop, that snags it. And that is the end of the first innings, but we find ourselves 2-0 down. Carabello comes up to bat now. 2-1 and one is the count on him. Carabello, and he lines it straight back to the pitcher. That's one away. Kendrick DeLima, who is batting 3 for 12 so far this postseason, with a home run, of course, from game three. Two and two's the count. And he strikes out looking. Two away for Rick Kuipers now to come up to the plate. He is 3 for 12 this postseason. Two and two's the count on him. And he strikes out as well. Oh, it's not, it's not going to plan so far this game for. Richardson now comes out to face Max Profs. He is 3 for 11 this postseason. First pitch swing. Pops it up. That should be caught out there by Johnny Bladell. And it is. And that is one away. Schlupp comes up now. He is a, a three for eight this postseason. Having a good time of things. And he strikes out. Excellent stuff, Maxi Boy. All right. Maybe he's back on things now. It's Jeebus to the plate, who is one for nine this postseason. He grounds it to DeVint. Over to first, mate. Carabello makes the play. And a nice quick second innings. Let's hope we see seven more of those, please. Johnny Bladell to lead us off. He does struggle against left-handed pitching. It's going to be a first pitch swing. Come on, Johnny. Pretend he's a right-hander. He has hit it well, but straight to third base, and that is one away. Brings up the catcher, Martina, who is uh, well, batting 400. Four for 10 so far the postseason. Full count on him. He has hit it really, really well to the fence, and the catcher, Martina, should stand up at second. He slides in for the sake of it, and that is a one-out double for Martina. And can Quillen DeVint now, who's been a little bit disappointing for us this season, only batting 100 in the postseason, can he do something wonderful? DeVint! Oh, Quillen DeVint! It is out of here! It's 2-2 two, two on the Quillen DeVint home run. I did not see that coming. He's broken out of his frosted streak now. 410 feet. And we are tied at two in the top of the third. Amazing by Quill and DeVent. And it's Nick Urbanus now who's 0 for 1 today. Two and two's the count. And Nick Urbanus grounds at the shortstop. And that will be the second out of the innings. It's going to bring up Ryan Jackson who is 1 for 1 today. Batting 250 so far this postseason. Two and two the count. And Jackson grounds it. Oh, it's an error. Run, Jacko. And Jacko reaches on the error. And there we go. It brings up Bernardina now. Come on, King. 1 for 12 this postseason. Make that 1 for 13. Do we drop him? I mean, we've got Bagel on the bench, who's a decent enough uh, center fielder. And I tell you what, I don't know if he'd do much worse than batting 77. Anyway, props to face Quackenack. Quackenack pops it up, and that should be caught out there by the King. Please don't drop it, Roger. There it is, one away. It brings up De Quint now, who is uh, who walked last time up, didn't he? Crossed the plate on the back of the home run as well. This time he strikes out. He's not swinging at Jamaxi. He's just standing there watching him. Sams comes up now. He's 0 for 1 today. He struck out first innings. Full count, two out, and Maxi Profs with another strikeout. We are still tied at two after three. It brings up Carabello to lead us off to face Plodger. Carabello back up the middle. Francesco has himself a hit. A leadoff single for the first baseman, which is excellent. And it brings up DeLima now, who's 0 for 1 today, batting 231 in the postseason. DeLima, he's hit that really well as well. Pedro DeLima, gone! It's not Pedro DeLima, it is Kendrick DeLima. It doesn't matter, it's another two run home run, 432 feet this time. And the Storks are 4 2 up on the back of that DeLima home run. He's second of the postseason. And suddenly it's looking a lot, lot better, isn't it? It brings up Ricky Kuipers now, who's 0 for 1 today. 2 and 2's the count on Rick. He has hit it, but just the second base, and that will be the first out of the top of the fourth. Johnny Bladell comes up now. He's only batting 91 this postseason. He was so good for us in the regular season. And Bladell gets himself a hit, does he? Yes, it does drop in in front of the left fielder. And it's a one-out single for Johnny Bladell. Excellent stuff, mate. All right, Martina, the catcher, who's one for one today, batting 455 in the postseason. And Martina has hit into a double play, has he? No. 
Bladell got a good jump there. It may have been a hit and run. Uh, so Bladell goes to second with two out for Quill and Devent. Home run hero last time up. Three and one's the count this time. And Devent swings at it, gets it back up the middle. And Johnny Bladell, is he going to come in and score? Yes, he is. And Quill and Devent delivers a third RBI of the match. A third run of the fourth. It's 5-2 to the Storks. And Quill and Devent, he suddenly is exploded into form. Urbanus now with two out. Man at first. Come on, Nicky boy. Urbanus gets a base hit. Oh, the Storks train just keeps chugging. And it stays at second, does Devent. So it's two out. Runners at first and second for Ryan Jackson, who is one for two today. A full count. Two out. Two on. Come on, Jacko. That's not going to get the job done, is it? Is it an infield hit? No, it's not. And that will end the fourth. But we leap to a three-run lead. It's been a really, really productive top of the fourth. Let's hope we shut him down in the bottom of the innings. Come on, Maxi boy. One and two is the count on Birkenbosch. That's well hit. That is going to the fence, but staying in the park crucially. Bernardina gets it in. It's a leadoff double for the Pirates. All right. Let's hope that there's not the beginnings of, uh, of a big innings for them here. It's Lupstock to the plate. One for ten the postseason. 0 for one today. One and one is the count as well. That is driven into left field, and that might score a run. Get it in. No, can't get it in in time. Birkenbosch comes around to score. It's 5-3. It's the RBI single for Lupstock. And Ricardo comes up now with no one out. Runner at first. That's been popped up. Bernardina comes in, makes a catch. More than It wasn't quite a pop-up. It was more of a line drive. But it was catchable and it was caught. And that's one away. Proxy now to Richardson. 0-2. Strikeout for Profs. Excellent stuff. That is five strikeouts now for the match. Shrup comes up with two out. Can we end this innings, please? They're going for the steal. Getting Martina. No, gets there comfortably in the end, to be fact. And runner moves into scoring position. Come on, Proxy. End it, mate. Two and two's the count. Oh, and he strikes him out looking. Too good, Maxi boy. Too good. They do pull one back, but we still have the 5-3 lead. Bernardina to lead us off now. One and two's the count on Roger. Come on, mate. Oh, Bernardina's hit it well. It's going back. It is off of the fence, and the king is back. Roger Bernardina with a home run over right field. It looks like it's gone through the fence more than over it, but the important thing is it's a home run. It's six to three. We pull back our three-run lead, and Bernardina, 371 feet. He's back. He is back. All right, that brings up what? Well, first of all, it gets rid of that uh, pitcher, which is excellent. We're playing uh, against Steph Devink now, uh, and he looks like a little bit of a uh, average pitcher, shall we say. A ERA of, that's from college. So he's never actually pitched in honk ball before. Come on, Carabello. Welcome him to the mound, mate. Welcome him in style. There we go. Pop up. Not quite the welcome I was hoping for, but at least it wasn't a strikeout. So that's something. That's one away. It brings up DeLima now. Another lefty as well. So that does kind of suit us because we do have our lineup sort of set up to face a lefty. DeLima, who of course hit a home run last time up. This time, not quite so lucky. And that is caught out there in right field for two away. Ricky Kuipers now. Two and two's the count on him. Come on, Rick. He has popped that up into left field this time. And that'll do it. But we do extend the lead back out to three. Thanks to Roger Bernardina finally showing up in the postseason. And it's going to be Profs to continue to Jeebus, who is 0 for 1 today. That's a ground ball there to Devent. Over to first, mate. Carabello makes the play, and that is the first out of the bottom of the fifth. Quackenack comes up now. I'm a little bit concerned about the pitch count on Profs here. 77, and we're only sort of one out into the fifth. That's a ground ball. We should have a play there. Profs goes over and makes a simple play over to first for two away. The Quint comes back up now. He's 0 for 1 today. With that walk, of course, full count. And he walks again. Too many walks, mate. Too many walks. Quillian Sams comes up now. First pitch swing. They're looking for the steal. Hit him, Martina. Get him. No. And the Quint gets himself to second with two outs. Sams now. What can we do? He's 0 for 2 today. 2 and 2 is the count. And that is popped up. It's going to be playable by Kuipers out there. And that should end the innings. It does. And we're three runs up, six to three after five. And it's going to be Johnny Bladell to lead us off against Van Wink. Oh, and one is the count on Johnny. Bladell back up the middle. That's going to be a leadoff single. Excellent stuff by our right fielder. 
and let's see if we can work this run around. It's Martina now, who is one for two today. First pitch swing. He has popped her up. I think it was another hit and run going there. And that is one away as uh, Mr. Bladell gets himself back to first. All right, DeVent, who's two for two today with three RBIs, having a stunning day. And that is, well, it's not a double play, so it could have been worse. Bladell moves himself on to second, and Nick Urbanus now with two out with a chance. He's one for three today to try and extend this lead for us. Urbanus! Oh, Nicky Urbanus! Off the top of the wall, but it's going to bring in a run. Urbanus slides into second. at 7-3 to three to the Storks. And, oh, are we closing in on a 3-1 to one lead in this series? Jackson now with Urbanus at second. One and two's the count. Ryan Jackson grounds at the shortstop. And that is going to end the innings. But we tack on another run. The lead is extended to four. And it's looking good for the Storks. Profs to Birkenbosch, who did home run last time up, I think, didn't he? 1-0 and is the count. That is... That's popped up. Should be a simple play out there for Johnny Bladell. And it is. That's one away. A nice quick start to the seventh. Sorry, to the sixth. Profs to continue now to Lupstock. Lupstock gets a hit into center field. And that is a one-out single. All right, come on. Ricardo to face Profs. They're going for the steal again. Can we nail him? No, we cannot. I tell you what. We're not doing too well preventing the stolen bases, are we? Lupstock stands at second with one out. Ricardo at the plate. Full count on him. That is well hit there into left field. Can Kuipers stop the run? Yes, he can. We got runners at the corners with one out. Richardson to the plate. Come on, Profs. We really need a strikeout or a double plate. What we don't need is a home run. It's 7-6. to six. As Denzel Richardson delivers a three-run blast, 449 feet. And it's game back on, isn't it? It is very, very much game back on. Coyman comes in now to replace Profs, who's, let's be honest, that's been a disappointing uh, game for him. Six runs off of his 5.1 inning. And it's Coyman now, who of course was in our starting rotation last season. Pick up the, hopefully, continue the good work here that he's done so far this postseason because he's yet to give up an earned run. That's going to be two away. g -Viz comes up now to face Coyman. Let's end this innings, please. Come on, Chris. There we go. All right, so we get out of the sixth with a lead, but it's only a one-run lead now. It's 7-6 to the Storks, and it's Josh Sims coming in to face Bernardina. Now, he got a home run last time up. Is that going to wake him up? 3-0 and is the count. Can Roger get himself on base? He can. He can. All right. Carabello now to the plate. Facing the right-handed Sims. Oh, and Carabello strikes out for one away. DeLima now, who is one for two today with a home run. DeLima, that is just one. Bernardina gets to second. It looks especially like a hit and run there, didn't it? And it's Kuipers now facing a righty, which he does excel against. He's 0 for 3 today. He is now 0 for 4. And that'll do it for the top of the seventh. We stretch in a very, very nervy position indeed. It was looking so, so good on the top of the sixth. And suddenly it's it's nervous again. Coyman to face Quackenack. First pitch swing. Quackenack, there it is to uh, Jackson over to first, mate. And that is one away. If we can get Coyman out of through this innings, then we should be able to do Alvarez and Barry Van Drell to the end. That's up the middle, is it? Yes, it is. And it's... A one-out single for the Pirates was DeQuint with the hit. It brings up Sams, who is 0-4-3 today. One and two is the count. Sits him down. Excellent stuff, Mr. Coyman. Two away now for Birkenbosch, who is two for three today with two RBIs and the home run. First pitch swing. They've gone for the pickoff. Have we got him? We've got him. Oh, an excellent move by Coyman. And that ends the seventh. We do keep the lead. Can Johnny Bladell extend it now? He's two for three today. He's having a good day at the plate. Up against the righty now as well, which he tends to do better with. But on this occasion, he strikes out. That's one away. Martina now to the plate. One for three he is today. Full count on him. And Martina walks. Excellent stuff. Quillen DeVint, who's had an amazing day with three RBIs already. He strikes out, though. 
That's two away, and it's up to Nick Urbanus again. Two for four today. Can he keep this innings going for us? Nick Urbanus, has he hit it well enough? Nick Urbanus! Oh, it's huge! Nick Urbanus, 417 feet over the left field fence, and it is nine to six. Urbanus extends the lead. Excellent work, son. And that is the Storks back with a three-run lead. And it's Ryan Jackson now. One for four today. One and two is the count. And Jackson hits it in the right field. That's going to get down. And that's going to be a two-out single for Ryan Jackson for the King Roger Bernardino to come up. What can he do? He strikes out again. Well, he's got one home run, so let's not be, you know, it's baby steps to get the King back uh, back into full fire here. But it's Clayman to continue to Birkenbosch. And Clayman, touchwood so far, has done okay. It's a first pitch swing by Birkenbosch. It's a first pitch out by Birkenbosch as Carabello fields the ground ball and trots over to first, and that is one away. It's Lupstock now, who is two for three today. Two and one is the count. That's a ground ball. Jackson should make easy work of that over to first, and that's two away. We are four outs away from a 3-1 series lead. Ricardo, who is one for three today. Full count on him. That's been hit into center field, and that's going to be a two-out single for Ricardo. Brings up Richardson, who, of course, sent the ball. A three-run home run over the fence last time up. First pitch swing. That is a very, very good hit against the outfield shift there. And that is triple territory. So that's going to be 9-7, to seven, I fear. Yes, it is. A two-out triple. Drives in a run. It's 9-7 to the Storks. And Coyman, if we can get Schlupp here, please, that would be a wonderful thing. 0 for 3 he is today. 1 and 2's the count. And he sits him down. All right. We go to the ninth with a two-run lead. And it's Carabello to lead us off. He is one for four today. Can Francesco do something magnificent and extend the lead here for us? He's hit it well. It's not going to clear the fence, but it's going to run to it. And that should be a double for Francesco Carabello. The first baseman leads us off, stands in scoring position. And can we get this run around? All right, it's going to be DeLima to try and do just that. He's 1-4-4 four, four today, but that one was a home run. It's a first pitch swing, and they've walked him. They're trying to get to Kuipers, which is an interesting decision, though he is 0-4 today. Come on, Ricky boy. Kuipers, is that going to be a double play? It is not. Carabello goes to third, out at second. So we've got runners at the corners with one out for Johnny Bladell. 2-4 for four today. What can Johnny do? Bladell delivers the single. That's going to drive in a run. And Kuipers is going to get himself to third as well. We remain with runners at the corners. Bladell with an RBI single. Still with one out. It's 10 to 7. And can Martina extend this lead further? He's one for three today. Martina pops it up. That's not going to get anybody anywhere. That's going to be two away for Quillen de Vint, who already has three RBIs today to try and extend that further. Come on, Quillen. DeVint up the middle. Yes, it is. And it is another run across. Quillen DeVint, four RBIs today. He saved it all up for today. He is definitely the hero of this game four so far. Bladell goes to second. And can Nick Urbanus, who has gone five for three with three RBIs as well, he's going to face Casemiro. Oh, and two's the count. Come on, Nicky boy. You can do it, mate. You can do it. And he strikes out. But... We add two. We go into the bottom of the ninth with a four-run lead, and it is Koyman to continue, and he has done really, really well so far. Let's hope he can see this out. Though 3-0 against the leadoff man doesn't suggest he is. That puts a man on. Not ideal. And it's Dario Alvarez that comes in now to hopefully close this mofo out. It's Quackenack at the plate. He's 0-3 today. It's another first pitch action. That's up the middle, and that's two men on board. That means tying run comes on deck. It's uh, Alvarez to face De Quint, who is one for two today. He's drawn a couple of walks there as well. That is well hit, and it's going to drop in. Kuipers, can he prevent the run? We've got loaded bases. We've got loaded bases, none out in the bottom of the ninth. Vandrell comes in now to try and hopefully rescue this, but we are a grand slam away from heartbreak here. Come on, Barry. Two and two is the count on Sams. A strikeout would be absolutely huge here, wouldn't it? It's not a strike. Oh, dear.
That's not good. And just like that, we're tied at 11. No one out. Birkenbosch to the plate. And Birkenbosch, the go-ahead, the winning run, is now on board. And this is, I tell you what, how's the choke in the 8th and ninth innings from the Storks bullpen here? Lupstock comes up to bat. 3-1 and one is the count. That puts the winning run at 2nd, still with no one out. And you get the feeling we're about to throw this away. Is that, is that it? Gathered in, Bernardino. We've got, a, a best case scenario, we've got loaded bases, no one out again. And we're going to lose this game, aren't we? Richardson, full count. We need a strikeout, Barry. Come on, mate. And he walks in. Oh, you're kidding me. You've walked in the winning run. Unbelievable. Well, I said there's a big difference between 3-1 and 2-2. That should have been 3-1. But we find ourselves at 2-2 as we snatch defeat from the jaws of victory. And the bullpen has let us down massively there. That is unbelievable. I'm really, really I'm annoyed and disappointed by that. That is infuriating. But there we go, guys. That is it for today. If for whatever reason you have enjoyed that, please do hit thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you next time for Game 5 as one of the teams will go one game away from clinching this series. Take care.